Hello everybody, welcome to our channel 22web and in this video tutorial we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to style PrestaShop uh, product page to look like this and we're gonna work with PrestaShop 1.7.8.3 and before we begin I wanna ask uh, please consider to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed and if you like this video tutorial please hit the like button thank you very much styling so let's begin we're gonna start uh, with styling um, uh, area around big uh, image image product image that we have over here so let's open our uh, custom uh, .css file that we work uh, previous video and already copied a selector for this area and we're gonna open curly bracket so uh, first of all we're gonna add some uh, background and we're gonna add um, some red and then we're gonna add some padding around the Im uh, image for example five pixels um, so so it's gonna be five pixels around um, and if you wanna um, do different like left right on the sides so you can add the second parameter so it will be 10 pixels on the left or right so then we're gonna add some um, shadow box shadow it's gonna be zero pixel zero two then pixels um, and don't pixels blur and uh, black so let's save it and refresh so as you can see we have some uh, shadow and some um, red color around so we can also add some border around so it's border um, so first we're gonna add uh, how thick it's a border then double you can do double you can do solid or you can do dashed or dot and maroon it's color of the line so let's save it and refresh here as you can see we have um, the double uh, double line we can even increase to make it like 20 pixels so let's refresh as you can see we have bigger now uh, bigger thicker um, border so next step I'm gonna add some uh, effect when you hover over this image so let's come back to our custom CSS file and we're gonna use the same selector we just add some semicolon uh, double column and um, hover word and uh, pseudo uh, element and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna change box shadow show so we're gonna add box shadow again and this time we're gonna since we, it's gonna disappear so we're gonna add none and transition parameter where we're gonna say what parameters should transition so let's do all even though it's only box shadow but we're gonna make for all of them so and then uh, duration so it's zero five s so it's a half a second so save and go back and refresh so let's have our as you can see it disappeared so we have some cool effect but you can do a step we're gonna we're gonna uh, style this add to the card button so let's go back again to our custom CSS file and already copied a selector for the button as you can see it's a star it's a class product it was the name product add to the cart and add to the cart another class so uh, we're gonna uh, change background again 
um, but you can do any uh, properties um, so we're gonna do uh, gold for example and we're gonna next uh, we're gonna style corners of this uh, button so for example we're gonna do round so border radius as you can see 5 pixels uh, save let's come back refresh as you can see now we have golden button and uh, now I want to add some effect when you press uh, this button so it's gonna be um, uh, when you press so let's use the same uh, selector and just add hover hover and um, curly brackets and inside we're gonna change so we're gonna add some uh, properties so we're gonna change background and to brown and we're gonna transition and then transition all and five seconds zero half a second sorry and as you can see now we have changing colors half a second so that's nice effect we can add even Box shadow, so box shadow, as we did in the previous, was a image zero zero five pixel five pixel since it's smaller. Let's do gray. Let's refresh. You can see we have some some shadow behind. So um, next step, we're gonna style this um, uh, this area with description as product product detail. So it's a tab. We're gonna style tab and uh, content of the tab. So first, we're gonna um, style um, change the color of this big area, whole area. So for this, we need to. So we need to add um, selector div tabs selector and then curly brackets background light blue. Let's save it and refresh. As you can see, all this area changed to light blue next step we're gonna style the tabs this top not active tab so let's come back and already copied selector and let's do background change background to beige let's save it refresh As you can see it changed to the beige beige color so now we're gonna style the active tab uh, that tab that actually uh, right now is uh, selected um, so let's go back again to our custom CSS and add another selector and we're gonna do background And we're gonna do uh, color gold, for example. Let's back refresh. So as you can see, we have again changed this color to gold. So for this, let's go back um, to our custom CSS file and already copied selector. Uh, let's selector with a parameter. So we're gonna uh, style the header so it's gonna be a background coral and we add some margin so on top uh, it's gonna be 10 pixels and on the bottom 
gonna be five pixels um, from uh, bottom element so let's go back let's save and let's go back to our side so as you can see uh, we, are, we changed this uh, uh, header of the comment so so next uh, we're gonna style uh, actually review area and let's go back to our uh, custom CSS and I already um, copied the uh, uh, selector so here we have background yellow and the margin uh, here is a mistake we need to put minus 15 pixels uh, margin and let's go back refresh and as you can see it changed the uh, background and I guess on the bottom we need different margin so margin button will be 10 pixels save and let's go back you can see now we have margin with the 10 pixels so um uh, actually is this is uh um So last thing I'm gonna add is to add some vertical line here to separate uh, actually review and reviews uh, from the stars uh, ranking. So let's go back to our custom CSS and I already copied this um, selector. So we add to that selector to that uh, class product comments list item and comment info. So I add some border right properties so uh, let's save come back and refresh see as you can see now we have this vertical line it kind of look nice a little bit so here you have it uh, we have this uh, product page so uh, if you have questions just ask in the comments below if you wanna uh, if you have question about styling if you want or you want to know some how to style some different elements on the product page so just let me know and uh, once again uh, thank you for watching and if you like this video please uh, consider uh, hitting the thumbs up icon so I will be very appreciated about this and um, see you next time bye